The existence of alien life is hotly debated. The amount of video footage of UFOs and unidentified creatures continues to pile up and pour fuel on the fire. What's going on in our skies? From UFO fleets over the South China Sea to mind-blowing footage from the International Space Station, here are 20 unsettling signs of alien life leaked by Anonymous. Swarm of Potential UFOs Reports of UFO sightings have been made by people living in all parts of the world. Mostly they come from people on the ground after seeing strange lights overhead. But sometimes they're made by Air Force pilots who experience them high in the clouds. In December 2021, one of the most convincing UFO videos was shot 39,000 feet above the South China Sea by an American Air Force pilot who couldn't believe what he saw. He recorded a video showing rotating lights moving across the sky. It was a fleet of UFOs flying in a very strange formation. Some suggested it could have been a military training exercise, but the lights resembled no known military or commercial craft. To this day, there has been no explanation or official statement made about the video that has been seen by tens of thousands of people on the internet. Even the US Director of National Intelligence said that she would not rule out the possibility of extraterrestrial life. At this point, anyone ruling it out isn't paying attention. The truth is out there, and we're getting closer to it every day. Daytime UFOs The land down under is filled with some of the world's most amazing sights and mysteries. In 2019, another one was added to the list. In the sky above Perth, Australia, incredible daytime footage was captured of a bright, unidentified flying saucer. The witness says she spotted four evenly spaced balls of light in the sky, heading west towards the ocean. She says she first spotted a plane overhead and then a round ball floating above it that changed from shiny to black. It was in total control and looked as if it had an established flight plan. She knew she had to share it with the world to try and get some answers. Was it a simple reconnaissance mission or was it there to gather more specific information? We don't have any answers yet, but because people continue to record these sightings and share them, there's a growing database that we may be able to use to get the answers we need. Project Blue Book The disclosure of alien contact or even alien life on Earth largely depends on one thing, the government. Governments have been collecting data and printing reports of some of their findings since the beginning. There are thousands of them, but just how much are they telling us? One of these reports is Project Blue Book. Blue Book was the codename for the intense study of UFOs by the United States Air Force that began in March 1952 and concluded on December 17, 1969. The project was based at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio and was created by Captain Edward J. Ruppelt. It was a follow-up to earlier projects, Project Sign and Project Grudge, and was created specifically to determine if UFOs were a threat to U.S. national security, and to reanalyze all their collected data. It was ended after a report conducted by the University of Colorado UFO Project, known as the Condon Project, determined that the study of the UFO was unlikely to produce any major scientific discoveries. After analyzing 12,618 reports, the Blue Book researchers officially concluded that no UFO report that was studied by the U Air Force showed a threat to U.S. national security, that none of the unidentified craft they studied presented proof of advanced technological capabilities, and that there was no evidence that any of the craft could be proven to be of alien origin. So they were basically saying, nothing to see here, folks. In December 1953, Joint Army-Navy Air Force Regulation No. 146 made it a criminal offense for any member of the military to discuss classified UFO reports with unauthorized persons. The punishment is two years in prison and a $10,000 fine. Seems like maybe there is something to see here. Mysterious Hole In 2016, a mysterious hole opened up in the Antarctic ice. Not only is it mysterious, it's massive. It covers 30,000 square miles. That's as big as the state of Kansas and nearly as big as South Carolina. And scientists can't explain why. The hole is known as Polynia, an area of open water amongst thick ice where it shouldn't be. It's not the first Polynia scientists have discovered in the area. They've been observed as early as the 1970s. But this peculiar one has left researchers scratching their heads because it's not the first time the same hole has appeared. 
According to NASA's Earth Observatory, scientists first observed it in 1974, and it reappeared in the winters of 1975 and 1976. Then it disappeared and wasn't seen for decades. Its reappearance has raised questions and stirred debate about whether the hole is actually an entrance to an underwater base. There's no record of Polynia appearing, disappearing, and reappearing years later, causing people to speculate whether the hole was created for a specific purpose, like allowing a ship to enter the water. The Antarctic ice contains many mysteries, and we're learning more about them every day. Maybe NASA scientists aren't the only ones interested in the area, or maybe they're interested because they know there's something below the surface. Maybe alien life. Giant alien in Antarctica. Are there aliens in Antarctica? UFO hunter Scott C. Waring found an incredible image on Google Maps, suggesting there just might be. If you believe his claims, you're not the only one, and there may be evidence to support it. The unedited satellite image discovered in 2020 appears to show a living alien being in Antarctica. The figure is 20 meters tall based on Google ruler measurements, and it also appears to show a doorway to what is thought to be the entrance to a secret base. Google ruler says the entrance to the base is 22 meters tall, which, which would make sense. A member of Waring's YouTube channel claims you can see stairs and a path leading toward the figure. With any of these findings, there are going to be skeptics, and they suggest that Scott is only seeing what he wants to see by using several random shapes to create familiar ones, in order for his story to make sense. That could be true, but these images are worth examining. What if he's right? It's easy to be a skeptic. If a team of researchers were to go and explore the area, the answers might shock us. The Antarctic has provided many surprises for scientists, and there are certainly many more to come. There's no reason to think this can't be done, and it would be the one most shocking discovery in history. Kenneth Arnold UFO Sighting Kenneth Arnold became a legend on June 24, 1947, when he claimed that he saw a line of nine shining UFOs flying by Mount Rainer, at speeds he estimated were at least 1,200 miles per hour. It was the first documented UFO sighting in the United States after the Second World War, and news agencies across the country were scrambling to tell his story. In the weeks after his sighting, several other reports were made by other people who felt comfortable coming forward after Kenneth had. It was his description of the objects that led to the widespread use of the terms flying saucer and flying disc. And he wasn't just some sky gazer who happened to notice the objects. He was a pilot and viewed the crafts from the seat of his Cal Air A2 plane. Flying in the Mount Rainer area, flashes of light caught his eye. He assumed it was the sun reflecting off the wings of his plane, but he quickly discovered it wasn't that at all. The light was coming from nine shiny objects flying in a formation that stretched five miles across the sky. He said each of the crafts was circular, about 100 feet across, and he couldn't see any tail. He explained that they moved like the tail of a kite, and flipped, banked, weaved from side to side and crossed through his flight path. The Kenneth Arnold UFO sighting is the most important in history. It opened the door for the huge UFO industry that exists today. Strange UFO Sightings In the fall of 2022, videos of UFO sightings surfaced and were broadcast across mainstream media channels. The videos weren't captured by one pilot, there were dozens. Numerous UFO sightings were reported and recorded in the span of a couple of months in the United States. All the events occurred over the Pacific Ocean. Former FBI agent Ben Hansen obtained the footage and air traffic control recordings that show confused pilots trying to describe what they were seeing. He gathered pilots' reports from Southwest Airlines, Hawaiian Airlines, and other private and commercial airlines between August 6th and September 23rd. In one piece of footage, a former military pilot reported seeing multiple unidentified craft flying right above him. On August 18th, pilot Mark Halsley radioed in from his charter off the Los Angeles coast to report that there were multiple aircraft north of him, and they were circling at a much higher altitude. The air traffic controller was unsure how to respond, but replied that he wasn't sure what Mark was seeing. Just over 20 minutes later, Mark called again to update the air traffic control that there were now seven of the unidentified craft flying between five and 7,000 feet above. He originally only saw three of the objects. The evidence that we're not alone is mounting. Crashed in the Backyard 
What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, unless it's about aliens. Then it gets picked up by every news station across the country and goes viral across the internet. Las Vegas police have released body cam footage and an audio from 911 calls after a family called to report that a UFO crashed in their backyard. On May 1, 2023, a man and his brother were working on a truck in his backyard when they felt the impact of something crashing in the yard. He immediately called 911 and explained that not only was there a crash, but there were non-human creatures in the craft. He made it absolutely clear that there was no way they were human, and they stood from 8 to 10 feet tall with large shiny eyes and a large mouth. When the officers arrived at the house, the creatures were gone, and there was no evidence of their visit left at the scene. The police dismissed the incident as unfounded. But several people witnessed it. Not just the caller and drone video footage confirmed that there was a large circular imprint in the dirt where the crash is said to have happened. This can't be dismissed as a hoax, especially since the government's House Oversight Committee is preparing a hearing on UFOs after the incredible number of reports in recent months. A former intelligence official, David Grush, claims that the U.S. government has a black ops program focused on recovering debris from crashed alien spacecraft and they've been trying to reverse engineer the technology. The Pentagon claims there's no evidence of such spacecraft or that the program even exists. Close Encounter An unidentified flying object zoomed past an American Airlines flight over New Mexico in February 2021, and the event was captured on a radio call made by the pilot. American Airlines Flight 2292 was headed to Phoenix, Arizona from Hebron, Kentucky, when the craft flew directly over the commercial airliner. In the 15-second audio clip, it was described as a long cylindrical object that was moving very fast and looked almost like a cruise missile. have any targets up here? We just had something go right over the top of us that, I hate to say, this looked like a long cylindrical object that almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of us. The pilot was desperately trying to make sense of what he was seeing, but couldn't. After the audio call was publicly confirmed as being authentic, anyone with any questions about it was asked to contact the FBI. There were no military operations confirmed to be happening in the area, and the White Sands Missile Range, which is local to the area, refused all requests for comment by media outlets. The call sparked many debates about extraterrestrial life across the internet forums, and we're still searching for answers. Over the Military Base in a chilling video clip captured in 2023, a triangular formation of lights can be seen floating high above the Marine Corps' Air Ground Combat Center in Camp Wilson in Florida. It immediately reminded UFO enthusiasts of the Phoenix lights that were seen in the Arizona sky in March 1997. Photos were taken with iPhones and infrared cameras and gave an eerie view of what multiple people witnessed. The object or objects appeared to be the size of a two-story family home, or half the size of a football field. The Marine base was contacted for comment about the event, but hasn't acknowledged the request, fueling the speculation that the object is extraterrestrial in nature. Since more than 50 people are confirmed to have seen the lights, there's a good possibility the event won't simply fade away. People will keep searching for answers, and that's what needs to be done to answer the alien question. Are we alone in the universe? And now it's time for our open discussion. Photos believed to have been taken from a highly classified location near Area 51 show a doctor wheeling an alien being through the halls of a research facility. They didn't know that a camera was watching them during the transport, and the photos were leaked on the internet. Where did this creature come from, and who found it? What types of tests are they running on it? And what are they hoping to learn from it? Let us know in the comments below using the hashtag open discussion, and let's get the conversation started. The Mystery of Mare Man One of the world's greatest mysteries lies in Finnis Springs, Australia, known as the Mare Man. The massive geoglyph sits on top of a plateau 37 miles west of Mare, South Australia. It's an outline of an indigenous Australian man hunting with a boomerang or stick. After seeing it for the first time, you may think it was created by something out of this world. And you wouldn't be crazy for thinking it. It's 1.7 miles tall, with a perimeter of 17 miles. That's almost 90,000 feet, as big as 247 American football fields. It's almost beyond belief, and its origin is still a mystery. 
No one has come forward to take credit for it. Even after Australian entrepreneur Dick Smith offered $5,000 in reward for information about its creation. It was first seen by a helicopter pilot who was flying over central Australia. The interest in it has exploded, and thousands of people have taken flight tours over it so they can see it with their own eyes. It's much too big to be seen from the ground, and the attention to detail can't be appreciated unless you're above. We may never know the answer to this mystery, but could alien life be responsible for it? There's certainly no better explanation. What do you think? Give us your theories in the comments below. And while you're at it, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Pill-shaped UFO Imagine sitting in your backyard taking pictures of birds eating at the feeders when, all of a sudden, you see a flash in the sky and look up to see a UFO zipping through the sky. A father in North Carolina experienced that very thing in 2019. Brad Harrison Jones was scanning his yard for birds to photograph when he spotted a pill-shaped craft going in and out of focus in the sky above his home in Guilford County, North Carolina. Captured footage shows a flashing cylinder-shaped object in the distance, estimated to be at least as high in the air as commercial airliners fly. Understandably, he was blown away and couldn't believe his eyes. The eerie video has been watched over 50,000 times, and viewers are torn over what it might be. Some say it's just a weather balloon, while others suggest it's something much more mysterious. But everyone agrees it's not a bird or a plane. Had a close call. On August 23rd, 2021, a disaster was narrowly averted when SpaceX and NASA astronauts passed an unidentified flying object. On the way to the International Space Station, SpaceX told their astronauts to wear their pressurized suits since there was no time to calculate the proper maneuvers to avoid a collision. Luckily for everyone involved, the object remained 27 miles away. A potential disaster was averted, but what was the object? NASA and SpaceX officials still don't know, or they just refuse to say publicly. One thing they do know is that as they continue to explore space, they're going to find more unexplainable objects and maybe even confirmation of alien life. Hopefully, by then, humanity will be ready to be told the truth about alien existence, and the details of any findings will be presented to the public. That officials can't explain. Mysterious crafts were sighted over Colorado and Nebraska in 2020, and officials are still unsure who's responsible for them and exactly what they are. They appeared to be drone-like craft, but that's all they know. Reports of the object in the night sky over Colorado and Nebraska started in mid-December 2019, and the Phillips County Sheriff's Office first started a public conversation about them in hopes of finding out what they were and who was responsible for them. National and local news outlets took to the story and ran with it leading people to post about it all over their social media accounts. The sheriff's office was the first to suggest they were drones. But major drone manufacturers, retailers, and users like Amazon, NORAD, and Buckley Air Force Base all deny any knowledge of what type of drones they could be and who's using them. The Federal Aviation Administration also denies any knowledge pertaining to the craft. It's yet another mystery that might be explained by alien presence three UFOs per day. On September 10th, 2017, 10 campers in Quebec, Canada said they were terrified by a UFO. A glowing, pyramid-shaped object floated over their camping trailer, stopped and hovered over their campsite. They claimed it glowed with intense red light. Then the light went out and it zoomed away into the night sky. The encounter became one of the best documented UFO sightings in Canada in 2017. And that's saying something since there were 1,101 reports made by Canadians in 2017 who claimed they saw unusual shapes and lights in the sky, according to a report published by UFOlogy Research in Manitoba. That means there were three UFO sightings reported every day for the entire year. Let that sink in. That was the fifth highest number of sightings since the survey began way back in 1989. At least 10 of those cases had a high degree of reliability and strangeness and were classified by UFO researchers as high-quality unknowns. Other reports from 2017 included a spinning donut-shaped object spotted in the night sky in Rimouski, Quebec. A university physicist and two other people saw an illuminated V-shaped object on the roof of a condo building in downtown Montreal. 
and a cigar-shaped object reportedly zipped across the sky in Ottawa on a clear morning in April. One encounter was actually frightening. Two people in the French River, Ontario, saw several colored orbs. They floated towards them, stopped, and hovered in the air, and then flew into the sky and out of sight. If that isn't a sign of alien life, then I don't know what is. UFO Hover in Sight In 2015, NASA broadcasted a live feed from the International Space Station. During the broadcast, a strange object appeared on the screen, and NASA immediately cut the feed. Not only did they cut the feed, but the footage has been removed from their archives. The footage clearly shows an object hovering in the background, and one UFO watcher named Toby Lund captured a still photo of the unidentified object. It appears to have markings that are incredibly similar to Star Trek Starfleet insignia. He's convinced that it's an alien craft, and that's why NASA removed the footage. He also claims it's not the first craft to appear on their live feed, or the first time they've removed the footage from their database. He might be onto something there. The footage is compelling, and why would NASA remove it from the archive? The plot thickens. Erupts from Volcano Reports of UFO sightings near volcanoes have been a hot topic of discussion, because there have been so many of them over the years. Frequent sightings of objects flying near volcanoes have been reported from Iceland to North America, and a video recorded in Mexico in February 2023 has caused panic throughout the internet. Webcams recorded an unidentified glowing orb exiting a volcano, known to locals as El Popo. It wasn't the first time the lights had been seen around El Popo. State cameras captured lights flashing above the volcano at least five other times, and Mexico has the seventh most reports of UFO sightings in the world. Journalist MJ Banias believes that the crafts may be drawn to volcanoes because of their energy and because they can be used for camouflage. The heat given off by the volcano may draw them in, and the cracks and vents could provide a place to hide and refuel. Some people go as far as to say that vents are commonly used as points of entry and exit for UFOs, allowing them to use volcanoes as a base of operations. It makes sense and would certainly explain all the sightings worldwide. Row of Orbs In Prince George's County, Maryland, a home security camera recorded a line of brightly lit orbs floating above the backyard of a home in Maryland. The footage clearly shows six connected orbs moving back and forth in the bottom left of the picture. As they migrate toward the top of the frame, they become bigger, and the line becomes longer before they disappear from the frame. They move back into the frame one last time before vanishing for the final time. The homeowner explained to the local news that she had never seen anything strange on her camera footage before. It usually just captures animals that enter her backyard. A group of similar looking orbs were recorded in Florida, and after she saw that footage, she decided to send her footage to the local news station. With cameras everywhere and so many people coming forward, a major disclosure may be coming sooner than we think. Captured by Military Drone during congressional hearings in April 2023, the U.S. government department responsible for investigating UFOs said it had found no evidence of aliens. Department head Sean M. Kilpatrick admitted that there are a few cases involving UFOs that they can't explain. Three videos of UFOs were released and played during the hearing, and one of them was of a sighting that is still unexplained. The video was taken by a Reaper drone doing regular surveillance of ground targets in the Middle East and it shows a bright metallic sphere moving at a high rate of speed. The drone operator follows the object, but loses it. Then he finds it before it zips away. Kilpatrick said the sighting remained a mystery, and due to the lack of information about the object, it may remain a mystery forever. He also admitted that the most unsettling issue of all that is that the video footage demonstrated technology that was beyond the capabilities of the US military. Interesting. Spotted from the space station. UFOs of many shapes and sizes have been reported, and one of the more common shapes is the cigar-shaped craft. One night in 2016, Scott C. Waring, the founder of UFO Sighting Daily, was at home watching the live internet feed from the International Space Station, when he saw something rather strange floating beside it. When he saw the footage, it reminded him of an object he saw from a similar video in 2006. It looked almost identical. Waring described it as a cylinder and says it's transparent. Just when it appeared the object was going to come into focus, the screen went blue. They cut the feed, 
It's strange instances like this that lead many UFO followers to conclude the feeds are being cut, to keep people from seeing what NASA knows are UFOs. It seems like a pretty big coincidence for feeds to be cut every time there is an unknown object that looks like a craft on screen. The debate rages on. From mind-blowing footage from the International Space Station to UFO fleets over the South China Sea, these were the 20 unsettling signs of alien life leaked by Anonymous. Which footage was the most convincing? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. We'll see you next time.